The name also, I thought of like years, years ago. So any any resonance it may have with really? more recent events. Because yeah. it stands for Father of the Bride. Father of the Bride, yeah. Huh. You're a fan of the Steve Martin film. Oh, yeah. Well, who isn't? <laughs> yeah, Chance great, that? What yeah. are you doing? It's a great standout. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's great. <laughs> Martin Short role, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. why years ago were you thinking about that? You know, we, I always, it's always kind of nice to lock the name in early. Um, because then there are ways that, I don't know, maybe gives you ideas for lyrics or helps you just kind of see the way everything's contextualized. So that that's always been the case, at least with the past few albums. So, yeah, early on, I just kind of, uh, yeah, I think, I'm, I can't even remember. It might have been literally just like, you know, seeing the movie come on TV and just being like, oh, Father of the Bride. And then, <laughs> and then just like <laughs> thinking about it more and being kind of like, oh, wait, actually Father of the Bride, when you kind of, Take it. It's like a kind of like a deep phrase, and you started seeing metaphoric or whatever, metaphorical, or whatever. And uh, and so anyway, it's nice to kind of lock it in. It gives you like a the lay of the land early. I yeah. Like if it. I did that, my album would be called Wayne's World Two. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be a strange title. That'd be that. Uh, Wayne, I, Wayne's World Two. I like that. It's a sleeper. The uh, the music business has has changed so much, even in even between the third Vampire Weekend album and the fourth Vampire Weekend album. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure that that has to do with how you've decided to roll this one out by dropping a couple of songs a, m- a month, right, until the album comes out? Well, yeah. I mean, also, this is the album is 18 songs. So I also kind of like the idea of giving people a healthy taste before. So, yeah. you know, so I, we were talking, you know, some people drop three songs before the album. I was like, why don't we just make it? three pairs of two that just felt we have so much material that we want yeah. to share with people did That's you all. think after maybe 12 songs you were like we got an album nope keep going so, somehow i knew off the bat that this had to be a double album or you know, to me, it's a double album. It, that's also a funny thing. Like you said, so much has changed in the past five years. Yeah, there's years no such that, thing really as a double album. Right. You know, there's just yeah. a 20-track a 20, a 20 uh, playlist is what there is now. Exactly. So there, there's a part of me that's thinking like like Exile on Main Street and Tusk, like double albums. Mm-hmm. And then there's also a part of me that's like 18-song album on the streaming era to, to a lot of people. That's just a regular album. Well, because, yeah, most albums that are coming out nowadays, at least stuff I know you and I listen to, are yeah. like 14 minutes. <laughs> like it's right. a full album, <laughs> so, and it's five yeah. songs, and it's 15 minutes. There's so many different ways to look at it. But, yeah, I don't know. Once I started, be- maybe because I took a break, when I started writing for this album, the songs came so quickly that I, I already knew this was going to be like a more substantial record. And I really thought it might be, I, I, re- I actually thought it might be like two 23-song albums. Which obviously, Whoa. speaking of Wayne's World too, I was like, maybe we drop Father the Bride and Father the Bride Part Two, right, right, same right. same, same right. day, <laughs> like uh, like Use Your Illusion One and Two, Absolutely. same day, forty six tracks. That's right. And then I yeah. and then I was I got serious and and when I really was like, and truly when I started paring it down, it ended up with eighteen tracks, and I was like, each one of these st- songs belongs here. There's no fact. Wow. Yeah. That's in my amazing. Opinion, in my opinion. Right. This is the voice of uh, Ezra Koenig here, Kevin Beans. You're talking Vampire Weekend, new music just out today. Harmony Hall is the song we just heard, which, by the way, if it's okay with everybody, I'd like to play again. Yes. yes. For the next conversation. The other one is called 2021, which is a year that America is very much looking forward to right now. <laughs> um, yeah. Harmony Hall is a real place, right? From Columbia, right? Well, that that's funny. There's so many places called Harmony Hall mm-hmm. um, that... There is a dorm at Columbia, which is where we went to school, and but it didn't even exist when we were there. So that was like, there's sometimes this weird resonance where oh. it kind of already came up with the name, and then like later, kind of search Harmony Hall, and they're like, there's a dorm at Columbia called Harmony Hall. I didn't even. That's a remember. weird coincidence. That is weird. It is a weird coincidence, but yeah, no, no real relation to that place, but but I don't mind. Um, I want to ask one more question about Harmony Hall before we take a quick break and play it again and talk more with Ezra. And that is, and uh, and I'm sure this is the goal as a, a lyricist, is you want the words mm. to mean something on the other end. I got to tell you, it stopped me in my tracks when you sing, I don't want to live like this, but I don't want to die. Mm. Because I feel like that is the most relatable thing you could say to to anyone. I mean, everybody has that feeling when they're thinking about the changes that they want to make in their life and the difference that they want to make. That's a very impactful statement, I guess, is what I'm saying. I'd like it, to, th- yeah, I'd like to think so. Did it mean? Did it mean something special to you, or did it just fill out the verse? <sighs> no, that that I mean, that's a phrase that goes way back, and th- this song has deep roots. And actually, I've used that line on another song. But that's kind of a Vampire Weekend tradition to, mm-hmm. to, to use lines because sometimes you start a song and the, the branches of the tree go in different directions. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, so I had to you know think hard about 
because some some of the hardcore fans will be like, oh, we, we've heard that phrase before. And I just thought, you know, it, it's worth repeating. Because, um, yeah, I think a, a lot of people relate to it. Throughout history, people have more or less said the same thing. It's you don't like the situation that you're in. You don't like the way that you're living. And yet, why is it so hard to do anything else? Yes. I think that, yeah, I think that's some basic human uh, reality. Well, that, that hit me right in the feels, man. I got to mm. tell you. 